Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So yesterday was, was a bit dramatic action on your it's mostly in the beginning of the session. So your currency has started well without hand and shoulders patching. And on the thin market, so our prediction was relatively fast. But uh, later when the Janet Yellen comes on the stage and said that, well, the United States could meet the technical default as soon as on the 1st of the June, that brings some uh, jeopardy on uh, performance, not only on the euro currency, but also in the gold market, you can see some crazy swings on the intraday charts. So, it's actually, market currently stands in frustration because, uh, first of all, we, we, even without this moment, we have a lot of statistics to watch. So, all that uh, by itself already could bring a lot of uh, volatility and headache to the traders trying to uh, understand that the, the, the uh, actually um, trying to understand the data and s somehow to treat it and to choose the direction. But together with uh, uh, pumping some fears on a possible default, that overall situation becomes really well tricky, and uh, investors definitely will stand nervous around this and uh, we could expect we could uh, really get some absolutely unreasonable performance that will be difficult to foresee or forecast somehow based on the just technical analysis meantime on the daily chart guys i would uh, well i would say that if even market could show some downward action here overall performance mostly stands in favor of the bulls um, because mostly it's two moments. Uh, first of all, we have uncompleted OP target with this ABCD pattern. It stands right there. It's around 11.20. And that has been completed yet. Second, this performance more and more reminds of the bullish dynamic pressure. It's because you can see MACD shows bearish trend, while price action is not. Market form, forming higher lows and higher highs. This divergence is usually in favor of the bulls, suggesting taking out of this top and upper protection. But in a shorter term, maybe on the result of yesterday collapse or something of that sort, we could see some downward continuation. Uh, because in general, until market stands above these lows, above 1 or 9 approximately, all this context will be valid. Everything will be stands in place. And even market will complete the scrubber, just moving back to the lows. Uh, without big breakout, because without big downside action below them, overall bullish context will not be broken, at least the patterns that we see here. It will not be too significant action if market even will reach 1 or 9 area. That's theoretically could happen. Uh, that's why I think that it is too early to make the conclusion on the reversal here, and we need to get some more evidence, some more clear signs that bears are taking control over the market. At this point, it currently we do not see it yet because of the reasons that we have just discussed. On the short term performance, yes, so if we take a look on the full time frame chart, markets now stands out of the consolidation, showing heavy action that we discussed last week. Here, as the as market was not able to proceed higher and just as it was previously in the previous action, but stopped in the middle and just dropped below the border right now. This is looks bearish. And on the hourly charts, take a look what has happened with our hand shoulders passion. So that was the hand shoulders. That was the bottom of the right arm where we suggested take the position. And take a look. It was really nice and fast action in the beginning. Then Janet Yellen come on the stage. And his collapse has happened. The same on the gold market. And now market trying to play it out uh, and return the position that it has, forming this cartridge chip to buy. But mostly it is completed just because it's already retracement more than the 30%. Maybe market will try to close here mind the gap in our chart. But uh, what I do not like, since all this stuff started from the hand and shoulders, and hand shoulders has failed, whatever reason was. So 
market hasn't quite completed the failure pattern so market should drop below the lows of this and draws to uh, let's call it as um, just fix the uh, acknowledge the failure of the hand draws to complete its minimum uh, target so this minor continuation could happen from that standpoint i think that for the bulls currently it's nothing to do so because uh for the taking the bullish position you need to get the clear signs that market is returning back to the upper direction i suggest that we could return back to the speaking on taking the long position only if market will raise all this stuff that we have here and break it up above the previous time here returns back on the upper direction in this case we could try to consider some minor pullback for position taking or we should wait when all the stuff with the hand shoulders uh, failure will be completed so market could show deeper retracement downside action and reach maybe the nearest ending level around 109.50 maybe even 109 area then we will see what to do um, additionally you could watch for uh, performance in the channel if market right now reverse up as I said, taking out of the stop return back in the, um, in the body of the channel, that also will be bullish sign. Beers Mintum could just watch for his current retracement, consider taking the short position against the stop. So if market indeed will continue the downward action, it should not take it out of this area, it should not break it up. So that's why in the short term performance with hourly chart, this will be invalidation point. This area around 1 or 110.40. So will be in validation point and you could consider taking the short position on some retracement for example here is approximately i suppose around 50 percent pullback um, there's a possible position uh, stop placing above this area and watch for next downward action because here's collapse was strong and rolls has failed but market still hasn't taken out the bottom of the head so some downside potential here exists so that's uh, what we have currently in two words speaking just bottom line bulls sit on the hands and watch for uh, bullish signs because we don't have them yet bears could try to ride on this short term stop that we have here uh, maybe indeed market will show some downward continuation here at least to the 109.50 support that we talked about recently